And so uh, I set about uh, with a small team and the support of our, our embassies uh, here in Belgrade and uh, my great cross Europe and in Brussels to participate quietly in the dialogue. This was the European Union's dialogue, but really, as Kathy points out, it was a dialogue for Serbia and Kosovo. We provide the facilitation. That's what diplomats do. And there was some question about the United States' participation. Some parties to the conversations didn't want an official US role. And I can remind you that the first time I flew to Brussels, the first of many, many trips, uh, I was invited into the uh, the offices of the European External Action Service and told, well, you can sit in the corner over here. Uh, there was a sofa. I can remember it. It wasn't very comfortable. But I sat quietly uh, and listened to the discussions within the EU team. And then as they brought in uh, representatives from, uh, from both Serbia and Kosovo separately. At the end of those days, they would often uh, ask for thoughts and views where I could express Washington's positions, ideas, and they eventually they said, well, why, why don't you come up to the table and, and we'll talk about the table. And then soon I was actually invited to sit at the table. And, uh, and that's the way we evolved, always supporting what the EU was leading, but that all depended on what the two sides were willing and able to do. And we could encourage and cajole and remind them of what the U.S. interest and support was uh, in seeing, you know, better opportunities ahead. And that's what the dialogue accomplished. 